very strange stance for us is indeed appearing in the West, which is that in order to get out of the war, some concessions will probably have to be made to Mr. Putin, to the Russian Federation, including territorial concessions on the one hand, and on the other, to insist on an immediate ceasefire. But there are two components here. First, Russian society probably wants to register its military successes, i.e. the seizure of occupied territories as it is today. Ukraine will never go for that. It is a principal question for us. Considering all the war crimes that the Russian Federation has committed in Ukraine, Ukrainian society will never support any concept of concessions to the Russian Federation, including territorial concessions, because any concession to the Russian Federation would instantly lead to an escalation of the war. So the war will not stop. It will just be put on pause for some time. After a while, with renewed intensity, the Russians will build up their weapons, manpower, and work on their mistakes, modernize a little, fire many generals who are absolutely ineffective. This is Soviet level of generals, so the planning of military operations and so on. They will fire the generals, try to modernize the general staff, and they'll start a new offensive, even more bloody and large scale, taking into account all mistakes.